creating pop-ups in Elementor is really simple. You got your pop-up templates and away you go. But what if you want to create a sequence of pop-ups? So you have a pop-up and when you click a button or maybe you fill in a form or you hit submit, it then activates another pop-up. So it might be that you're giving away like a coupon code or like an ebook or something. But they can't have that until they have filled in their details. We can create a sequence of pop-ups. We're going to do that right now. It's really, really simple. So we're inside WordPress. We're going to go over to template and you do have the option to go with pop-ups. But if you haven't, if you don't click pop-ups and you go actually into your template area, it doesn't matter. You just hit add new and we're going to pick over here pop-up. Now I'm going to call this one um, pop01. Um, you would have proper names for your pop-ups and I'm not even going to build a pop-up. I'm just going to use a template just to speed up the process of this video. So let's just create template. Elemental is now, by the way, you do need Elemental Pro. So if you want to use other add-ons because you've got Elemental Free, go ahead. But I do strongly recommend you get Elemental Pro. Now I am going to use one of these templates here. Use this one here and I'm just going to insert it because I'm going to show you how, what if we have a form they've got to fill in before they get access. So let's just take this form, okay? I'm not going to spend a lot of time styling this. We've got lots of other videos for pop-ups. Please go away and look at that. The key bit is this subscribe box, which we're going to use to not only send a submission, but to also activate another pop-up. Now I am for now just going to hit publish. Now, as soon as I do that, I'm going to ask, I'm going to get asked to do some conditions. Because this will be activated by an icon button, I'm not going to set any. I'm just going to say save and close for now. The reason I've done that is because I now want to create the second pop-up, okay? And then I'm going to come back over to pop one. So let's just go back over to our template. Same thing really, add new. We're going to pick a pop-up and I'm going to call this one pop02 like that. I'm so inventive with my names. No, no I'm not. Right. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm actually not going to, again, like create anything too dazzling. I'm just going to go and pick this. Just a standard template. You could obviously have a PDF in here, a coupon code, documents. It might even be a secret product. You know, like if you really want to buy this computer or whatever, you got to subscribe to our mailing list first before you get access to it. Anyway, I'm just going to click publish for now. And again, I'm just going to hit save and close. Okay. I'm not setting any conditions, but I'm just saving and closing this. I'm now going to go back over to my first pop-up. I'm going to refresh the page because I want to make sure that pop-up number two is now in the system. I mean, it will be in the system. It's not like it's disappeared anywhere. Let's go over to the pop-up for or the subscribe bit of the form. Go to where it says action after submit. Click the plus sign. Scroll down until you get to pop-up. Now, when you pick that, this option now becomes visible. It's invisible until you do that. Let's click the pop-up and we are going to say open pop-up like that. And I'm now going to type into here pop02. There it is. Let's pick it. That is now set up to do that. But there is a few things I would recommend you do. If you click on the cog down here, which is the settings, right? These are the settings for your pop-up, not the page. It's for your pop-up. If you go over to advanced over here, you do have an option that says avoid multiple pop-ups. Please do enable that, okay? Because if you don't enable that, there is a chance that pop-up one is still going to be behind or next to pop-up two. This is a fake page, by the way, okay? And some people often say to me, what do you mean by fake page? Well, it's just what I use for tutorials, all right? It's not a real website. I've got a button over here, per activate. I'm going to go over to the button settings rather than adding in a link, click on the dynamic tags, scroll down until you get to pop up, uh, click the spanner or the wrench. And then what we're going to say is open pop up. And we are now going to pick pop zero one, pop zero one. There it is. And then we just hit update. I click this button now. It should open up the pop up. Right. Look, that's exactly what it's done. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to type in our email address. And when I hit subscribe, that will send that email to our other email or whatever, or maybe you've set it up with MailerLite or MailChimp or Active Campaign or something. But watch what happens. When I click that, the second pop-up appeared. I mean, this has also got a form on there, which I should have noticed that before. However, you could have further content on here now. I mean, you could even, if you really want, 
after they then fill in some further details, open up another pop-up. I wouldn't do that. More than two is a bit, you know, it's going to kill them off, right? But this is a sequence, a really simple, easy way of doing a sequence of pop-ups using the action after submit feature command facility, whatever you want to call it. Look, when you do click the cross, you're back there. You don't have to close down pop-up two and pop-up one. Because pop-up two, the minute that appears, it stop, it kind of removes pop-up one. Remember, don't let multiple pop-ups be visible on your screen or open. I hope that helps. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch.